Hey everybody, Kathy Armias here. So I have a special guest with me, uh, Jimbo Clark, all the way from Taipei, Taiwan. Woo, um, yeah. All the way. It's crazy, it, it feels like we're sitting in the same room, but um, Jimbo is a creative innovations expert. Is that right? Did I get that yes, right? Sir. Yep, and yep, yep. Jimbo, Jimbo is a creative guy, like that's your thing. And so, um, Jimbo and I are going to talk today really quick about how to be creative and how to kind of do it within your own realm. Everybody's trying to be creative all the time, but trying to be creative and being creative are two different things, right? Yeah. Well, and I, and I think one of the, I mean, working in Asia, there's this idea that the, from the Asian people that I work with here, that they're not as creative as Western people. Oh. And so one of the first things that we do in our programs is we help people understand that everybody's creative. They might just be creative in different ways. Right. And so, I mean, one of the reasons that you and I resonate is because we're both that kind of woohoo out there creative kind of yeah, people. Yeah, we're the creative creatives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or what we, we call out of the box creatives. And so, right. so one kind of creativity is about, you know, breaking the rules and disruptive innovation and all these kinds of things. But there's a whole other side of creativity, which is about creating more innovative structures or finding more effective ways of doing things. And sometimes it's hard to know who's who. You know, who's who in the room? People, people talk a big game. Right. You know? So they want, to be, they want to be seen as innovative. They want to be seen as creative. Um, and so a lot of the, what, what I would call in the box creative people kind of hide their creativity behind a mask of seriousness. Right. But Total then once you kind of let them loose, they're, they're right. as creative if not more than others. Yeah, yeah. Total engineer types that, that think that they're just so process oriented that they're not creative or they wouldn't tag themselves as creative. But there is creativity in everything. I mean, even, yes. do, even doing a process in a better way is a creative way. Yeah. So, and the, um, best, the best creative teams are teams that have people of different styles, people of different kinds of thinking. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if it was just a whole team of people like you and I? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have that experience. And uh, it's a be, lot of fun. It would, too much. it would be a lot of ideas and not a lot of stuff getting done, right? Yeah. That's, how I feel like it would in fact, there's a uh, there's a professor in um, at the University of Buffalo. His name's Dr. Kirton, and he did a study where he put a lot of that out of the box creative people together. And what they found was a lot of ideas and an agreement to disagree. You know, <laughs> and so so they came to get they came up with a lot of ideas that when it was presentation time, it was half baked. Yeah. And then yeah. they had another uh, group that was more the in the box creatives, uh -huh. and they came up with an improvement that was on budget, on time, that provided some small improvement, but didn't really... You know, wasn't really creative. It. Wasn't super innovative. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they put together a couple of groups of mixed. And what they found is some groups that were mixed with the out of the box and in the box destroyed themselves. They walked away hating each other. Yeah. Because these people wouldn't listen to these people, and these people wouldn't listen to blah, blah, blah. And then, the, but then there were some groups that had this mix that, that really hit the ball out of the park. And what they found was that those are the groups that had someone who was willing to play the bridge. Ah. So a creative person, you know, the out of the box creative person who pulls back and, and, and kind of sides with the process people or a process person that kind of pulls back their, their need for decision making and says, hey, let's, let's go with this. And yeah. through that mutual respect, they, they, they do the best. So the lesson in there too is to kind of uh, give, you know, give a little bit, give a little yeah. bit of the process. So, yeah. but how, and, yeah, how can we, so if we were giving this lesson, like if, let's say we were just going to, I mean, it can, and you know how this stuff works. It can work for somebody on a personal level, just as much as a small business owner to somebody that works for a large corporation that has a huge budget, big marketing campaign. Everybody's trying to be creative. Everybody's trying to, you know, cut through the noise and, um, you know, get through. A lot of things just don't get through. Um, what's the best way for somebody to actually be creative? Because many times people don't even know what creativity is. It's just kind of, mm. it's this elusive like thing. And, uh, but it's weird. We all know something creative when we see it. We're like, that's so creative. You know, you right. see it, that's creative. I would say one, one big, uh, two things come to mind. The first one is use creative process. You know, uh, some people think that brainstorming is, a cre is, is being creative, but that's just one piece of a larger process. Right. So if you're going to think out of the box, make sure you think back into the box. Just think back into a better box. Right. So you, you want to find some process. And then the second thing would be 
surround yourself with people that you don't necessarily like. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> you know, you know what? Oh, wait, 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 let me, maybe it's a nicer way to say. No, uh, I don't like what you're People who are not like you. Not like you, <laughs> yeah. but you should like maybe, them. And maybe even surround yourself with people who don't like you. Right. You know, uh, I don't know what it's like in the States, but one of the big buzzwords here is unconscious bias. Oh, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. hiring people that are like you and, and marginalizing people that are different than you. And, you know, that creates a level of comfortability, that creates a level of sameness that can sometimes really push through agendas. I mean, in, in terms of decision making, speed of decision making, all of that's really fast. But in terms of creativity and innovation, no. no nothing, yeah, yeah. So those are the two things. One is find a you process that works that, for you. And then people find that people that aren't like you, maybe not necessarily that you don't like or that don't like you. No, that's true. I, I, there's so much value in that because like you said, I mean, um, having gone through a lot of different personality tests there, every, every different personality has a strength and a weakness and every, and so now that you talk about it, it's true. Everybody has, I always teach people when I'm teaching like my unbreakable rules, I'm always like, everybody's creative. It is just kind of going through the process and really sifting away what might be cliche first, you know, so. I guess the third thing that comes to mind, if I can, is if you're like, for example, like a little like Kathy and myself, and you're that out of the box creative, make sure that when it's time in the process to be structured, that you allow the structure in you to come out. Because I'm betting that you can be very, very structured and you can be very, very focused and that you probably need to set aside time for that. Like when there's no distractions, then you can really be structured. And I think the same thing's true with others, you know, people on the other side of the spectrum. When it's time to, to let go, just let go. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great advice, because you're right. I mean, most of the time I'm not, when I'm in creative mode, I can't be structured. I'm like, oh, I'm all over the place. And I love like background noise. I like, I like a lot of, you know, ideas being thrown around. But when it's time to actually, you know, process and get work done, I can be very structured. It's just not my, it's not my happy place. So yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So, that's why, that's why you use creative process in the first place. So as a group, especially as a group, you need the process so that when you're being expansive, the people who want to get decisions making, decision making done can say, okay, there's a decision making moment coming. So I don't have to rein us in. Right. When you've, when you've been expansive and it's time to make a decision, people like me, one of my favorite things to say in a meeting as we're coming to the decision making is, would now be a good time for me to have another idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. people can say no. Right. Because, no, okay, no, like, we're no. done with that. Let's just make a decision. Right, and so right. I have to suspend my style to support the process so that we can come up with something more creative. Right, right. No, that's, that's great advice. And, and I love this whole thing of going – thinking about being inside the creative box and outside the creative box. Yeah. Um, so if I were to sum up kind of what we talked about and the advice we give to people that don't think that they're creative is just to know that it's a process, right? Um, find people that aren't like you so you can kind of fill the gaps. Be willing to adjust. Be willing to be that bridge. I love that you yeah. use bridges. Love that. You know, I'm the bridge lady. Um, so be willing to kind of be that bridge so you don't get stuck like banging your head against um, the other kind of group of people and nobody gets anything done. And, and then uh, finally, just be willing to kind of know when to cut it off, right? Yeah. You know, when to kind of execute it. You can't yeah. stay in creativity mode. And then I think just finally telling people that creativity is something that's super genuine and authentic to you personally or to your company or organization. Like find yeah. super genuine and authentic because people, the right people will be attracted to you. Yep. Yep. Isn't that right? You never know. You might be the answer to a question you haven't heard yet. Ah, Jimbo, I love that. Did you guys hear that? You might be the answer to a question that you haven't heard yet. You so know, by what? being authentic, you allow that answer to come out. That is awesome. And I'm going to end on that one because that was brilliant. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.